Good morning, everybody. It's It's been a long time. Um, so much has been going on. I've been all over the place for the past, oh gosh, I think it's been three, four months since I did my last video. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I seriously didn't mean to be gone this long. There's just been so much going on. And then my... Closed my Etsy shop and started a dog walking business and then got a job and then it it was just so much. So I'm here right now um, and I thought, pardon the nails, I do have a nail appointment this afternoon, but I wanted to get this out of the way this morning because it's really nice out and it's sunny and there's light. So... I wanted to come on here and hopefully start the first of many videos coming up um, and let you all know that I'm back and kind of show you what June looked like in my planner. So like I said, I've been all over the place. The past couple of months, I've been in a personal ring binder, a... Um, what's it called, a uh, pocket ring, pocket rings, an A6 Wonderland 222, my B6, then I went back to the A6, and I am back in my B6, and I think this is it. It's like the stars all aligned all of a sudden, and I gave up my dog walking company. Um, work has gotten really busy. The corporate work is getting really busy, so I don't have time to go walk the dogs. I was able to fix my silhouette, so I'm opening up my shop hopefully this weekend. I've gone nuts and designed a whole bunch of new stickers, and I have them here. I was trying to organize them, and um if we have time at the end of this video, I'll go through what it is that I've designed and what it is that I may be making changes to and put him back in the shop. Um, but mainly I'm here because I want to show you what my June, which was the full month in the B6, kind of like minus a week, um, looked like. I stopped trying to use my fountain pens in my planner, I do use them in my journal, which I'm not gonna show you, but I use my fountain pens in my journal and I use all the colors. Um, but I switched, sorry, I switched to this friction pen. It's a ballpoint, it works perfect. I like the fact that if things change, I can just erase. Um, it's got all the colors, so I don't have to carry things around. It, it's working perfectly fine. Um, still in my same cover. I love this Bassy & Co. cover. I've had it for, oh my gosh, two, three years maybe, and I love it. Normally, I carry my journal together with this. These are stickers from Randy Dot Plans. I like them. I I think I ordered them too small. I don't like the way they look in my planner. I, I ordered the minis and I should have ordered the small. Not her fault, the stickers are fine. The stickers are great if you guys want it, want to order from her. Um, they're Randy Dot Plans. Um, I do like them, but I don't know that I'll be able to use them because they're so small I can barely see them in my planner. So I'm going to put this down and I've already started planning July, but I'm just gonna go through June and the weeks and I'll show you my tracker also. So as you can see this part of the month, this is my tracker for June. This part of the month I was in my A6. I covered up what I'm tracking just because some of it is really personal and I didn't want to be bothered editing stuff here in the video because it's a pain in the you know what. But I did well, um, sort of. Some things I did better than others. Um, I started writing down 
what I sometimes if I ate bread, I've noticed that eating bread is giving me a stomach ache. So I wanted to check if that was like all the time or whatever. Uh, also, there's one particular wine that I've had that the next day I wake up with really bad headaches. So I'm writing down when I drink wine just to um, just to see if I wake up with a headache. And by the way, I drank a glass of wine last night with my husband and I woke up this morning and I had to take headache medicine. So it may be just that particular wine. We'll see. But yeah, so this is my tracker for June. I've already set up my July. Again, I'm not gonna show you because some of the stuff I'm tracking is really personal. And here's my month. This is how my month turned out. I don't know where I saw this. And in case you guys are having trouble figuring out what to do with this sidebar. Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry. I'm in my Wonderland 222. I don't know, does it say? I have to let you guys know, I went crazy <laughs> and I ripped out some pages because I thought I wanted to put them in in my ring binder and I completely regret doing it. And now some pages are falling, so I have to tape them. Uh, but I'm in my Wonderland 222 for 2022. Um, so anyway, backtracking, um, I don't know where I saw it, but what I'm doing with this sidebar, cause it's not big enough for me to write my to do's. What I'm doing with the sidebar is I'm writing things that happen in the news. So I write down in the news over here. I may even do some script so I can put a script sticker over there. And then I'm just writing down like important things that happen in the news. So like the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, not getting political, believe what you believe. Um, the 15th, there were two LA cops that were shot. Um, the Fed um, raised the rates, like stuff like that. I want to, I thought it was a good idea because in 2024, when I come back, through my planner, if I come back through my planner, I can see what happened that month. I think that will be interesting. And then I covered up some stuff that was uh, super personal or work, that's the other thing. Uh, in the month of June, I was using this for both work and personal. I didn't have my Etsy shop, so I was just, um, it fit, it kind of fit. Now, I'm putting out videos and I have my Etsy shop. I don't want to have things from work in here that may be shit oversharing. So I don't, I'm going to remove work and just use a work planner for work. But I covered up some stuff. The red stuff is actually work stuff. Um, and then I kind of just write down like s certain things that I want to stand out and be able to see when I come back. So here's my first week. I was still in my A6, sort of. Um, so I kind of backtracked with the weather. As you can see, I designed some new weather stickers. I like it better when there's a little bit of color. These will be listed in my shop. I'm gonna have them on um, white glossy paper. I think I did that in one of the early months. This is white glossy paper. And this is on clear paper. I kind of like the clear paper. I'll show you what July looks like. So here's a July um, clear paper. It's kind of cute. You can see through the paper, the squares, not that bad, but I like, I like, I think for now, at least I'm enjoying the uh, clear paper better. So these stickers will be listed in my shop um, this weekend sometime. So the first week of June is very empty. 
but I was drawing the weather because again, I want to be able to come back in a few years and see what the weather was like on this particular day. And I kind of like the way, I don't know, again, I don't know where I saw this, what planner person <laughs> I was watching that had this. So I thought this, you know, if I didn't have stickers, I couldn't get my silhouette to work. So I may as well draw it. And I kept going that way the whole month. Again, here I was still in my A6. And here's where I started moving things over to the B6. It, the A6, I love the size of the planner. I love the way it looks. Um, I would love to be able to use that as my everyday planner, but it just doesn't work for me. It's too small. Things look really crowded. I. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I think I used it for maybe a month, like all of May and maybe a little bit of June. And then uh, I just couldn't do it anymore. So here's where I moved things into my B6. Um, the bottom, so on the B6, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, um, what would you call this? Lines, squares. Uh, where some people do to-dos, like daily to-dos on here. Some people uh, create, uh, I don't know, uh, like a weekly type to-do. I've seen people that turn the planner sideways and write their weekly tasks down this way. I chose to do, and it changes every week it changes it's something different but i have a section for to do's here i was doing bills but this wasn't working because what wound up happening was i need to see it on the day i need to see that something is due on the actual day otherwise i i get too stressed out and a planner is supposed to help you unstress so i remove this you'll see how I did it I removed this and I started doing it dinners I was doing dinners I think I did it for a few weeks and then I gave up on it because my husband works until really late I never know what time I'm going to be done with work at the end of the day and I would do my meal plans and then not cook anything because either he wasn't hungry by the time he got home or I was too tired to cook and we would wind up just eating whatever cereal salad whatever was in the fridge so I stopped wasting space with dinners energy I'm still using and my work hours I used it all through the month of June I'm not using it I'm not going to use it in the month of July I'm moving this over to my work bullet journal and I'm not sure, maybe I'll look through the work bullet journal and I'll show you how, how I set it up for July before I start work um, on Tuesday, on July 5th, this way I'm, I'm not going to overshare. Anyway, so this is how my first week of June, full week of June turned out. And then here we get really busy. Uh, <laughs> So again, the red is work. I was posting work, uh, things that happened. The the black is stuff that's for me. Um, can't remember the name of the shop, but um, she has a very style of a very set style of her own. So if you see this sticker, I'm sure you know who it is. Um, I'll post it. I'll put like some kind of whatchamacallit, legend down here so you guys could see who it is if you don't know. But the sticker fits fine. I was testing to see the size of the sticker. Again, I'm still drawing the weather. Um, anything else? That's it. Um, this, again, we did, I did the same thing. This is also a sticker from that's going to be posted in my shop. Actually, all of these will be posted in my shop. I think, and this is the payday one, I think I'm going to redesign it, make the stickers a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if that's big enough. 
It probably is now looking at it on the notebook. It looks like it is big enough. On the sticker sheet, it just looks really small. So I may make it just a little bit bigger. It'll fit less, but I think it'll be fine. So this is the payday sticker. It's also gonna be listed. Um, these are also some stickers that I designed for mini white wine and mini red wine. I may keep the mini and then also do a small and make them a little bit bigger. So if you see over here um, is the white wine, here's the red wine. The reason this one is like all over the place because I was, I don't know what I did in my cut settings and it just like messed everything up. So I had to rip all these stickers out. But um, this one turned out well. Um, yeah, so these two will also be listed in my shop. And I'm going to create, so we'll have a mini and we're going to have a small, which will be just a tiny bit bigger because I may just do the same thing with that because if you're going to have an A6 planner, the smaller size may be the best bet the mini size may be the best bet. And then for the A6 and the A5, the B6 and the A5, um, a little bit bigger, maybe best. So yeah, so those are the stickers. And then <laughs> these I just thought were so cute. So here's, a, my husband had to pick up the poop for the dog, from the dogs in the yard. And I thought this was such a cute little sticker. I called it Pooper Scooper. I will also list who the designer, the person who drew the images is down below. And um, cause I didn't draw this, I can't draw to save my life, but somebody can. <laughs> so I took their, um, their, their drawing, created a sticker. I made three different sizes. This was just for me to figure out what I wanted. I think I'm going to remove the big, the itty bitty ones. I think this one, well, this one is that one. So I think I'm gonna make the four bigger ones and then I'm gonna make everything this size, which fits here perfectly well. Maybe I should make one of these just in case you haven't. A, an A6. Let me know what you think in the bottom um, in the comments of the video. Let me know if you think I should leave one or two rows of the little one. Let me know what you think. I'm I'm like changing things as I talk to you, which is great. This is why I have this fit this channel. And then this was also the next week, I think, which is going to be right here. So this week I also used this one, it's coffee time. Um, I'll also be listing this in the um, in the shop. So again, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd really like your feedback on it. So this one will also be listed in the shop. And then there's this one that I used here. I was so exhausted on Monday. I was so unmotivated. And like, if you could see my productivity at work was like at a three and that was being kind to myself because it really wasn't. I was so unmotivated. It's not even funny. So I used this little guy falling into the coffee cup. This will also be listed in the shop. This is actually from a sample pack. Hold on one second that I got from Randy.Plans. And it's this one, it's the sample pack. I got this when I ordered my stickers, it's really cute. These are her mini uh, balloons and her mini presents. And she had the little teardrop, which I decided to also offer in my shop. So I created this one as a sample. I used it, but I think I put it in my A6 to take pictures of it. 
I think I'm gonna keep this size because I think it was perfect for how I wanted to use it. So I'm gonna keep this size. I'll be listing this in the shop as well. I'll change, I'll make some different colors. Let me know what you think. Uh, and then I decided I also wanna make little dots. Again, I used it, but I used it in my A6 to take pictures. That's what I'm using my A6 for now to get, to take pictures. So this, is also going to be listed in the shop. All of these, like these and the weather and the wine glasses, these are all on clear sticker paper. I can also offer it on white matte or white glossy. So you let me know, um, I'll have the choices in the shop. Every All of the stickers I'm showing you will be um, coming up in the shop soon. Hopefully I'll be doing that this afternoon sometime. Um, and here, so if you notice, I was drawing it. And again, I'm not good at drawing. So this adds a little bit of color and it looks so much nicer. So I started doing the weather like this. And these, this is exactly the size that I showed you originally. It's this size. Stick. And then I made mini dots and these are super, super tiny. And I made them in pink, gray, green, and yellow. And I'll show you what, why I did that. I wanted a way to say, if I had a headache, um, if I had a stomach ache, if, I, if allergies were bad. So here, they fit perfectly well in the, inside the, the grid. And I will also show you what it looks like. So here's my A6. I'm gonna close that so you could see. So here's the mini, mini dot. And then here's the small dot, and here's my teardrop, which is the perfect size for the Wonderland. All of these stickers are going to be in the shop, hopefully sooner rather than later. These are mini, the, the other size I'm calling it small, so the dimensions will be listed. So that was my month of June. And then over here, what I'm using this part for, and I know a lot of people are having trouble trying to figure out what they want to use, the review and the overview. As So here I list um, things that I personally achieved or that I've done. So I listed what went well or what happened for work. I listed the books that I'm, I either finished reading or that I'm reading. Um, things that we did at home and personal things, uh, personal things that happen. And then on the bigger, on the inner part of the page, I'm doing, I'm using it for gratitude. I don't do gratitude here every day. I do gratitude when I feel like I need to do gratitude. So I think I, I only had a couple of days in there. So for me, it works because I don't do 30 days. And then for my overview, what I do is I list the tasks that I want done and that I want to do that particular month, like my monthly tasks. And then some goals, I work out my goals here and then I put the ones that I really want to accomplish. And then I review it at the end of the month. And that's how I, that's how I plan my month. This is from, why can't I think? I can't think of the name of the shop. I'll put a little legend down here. And yeah, that's how my month turned out. Let me know if you have any questions and I'm looking forward to doing another one of these very, very soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.